What is up my BA fam? Today, I'm officially announcing my road to the pros. A long time ago, I did the seven mistakes that I made when I first started making YouTube. And in that video, I talked about what the goal for this channel was and how it was my journey to becoming a professional fisherman, whether it being on the YouTube side, baits and tackle, or tournament fishing. And for a long time, I've dreamed of being a professional bass fisherman. You know, I, I've watched the MLF tour, I've watched the Bassmaster Elites for years. And I always wanted to aspire to do that, but you know, as most of you guys know, I don't come from a background of money. Um, you know, like I'm an orphan, and uh, you know, pretty much everything that me and Caroline have in life, we've had to pour our blood, sweat, and tears to get it. And you know, even you know, Swamp Bass behind me, you know, is you know, it's an old boat. But it floats, you know, it gets us fishing and we absolutely love going out on it. But when we did our first tournament, we quickly realized that, you know, while we can still fish tournaments in it, it's just not a boat that's gonna be able to be competitive versus everyone else's, you know, $50,000 to $150,000 boats. And it's really just not worth putting that kind of money into and to be able to really take me as far as I want to go in this sport, you know, where I want to go in my career. And in 2024, like I said, we have more tournaments lined up and we are going to keep fishing tournaments out of Swamp Bass. But in 2024, I really wanted to start taking this dream seriously. And, uh, you know, with our thousand fish catches, you know, is, is like I said, to gauge where we're at. And, you know, I hope you guys are following along in that. And I want to show that anyone can do it no matter where you are at financially. Like I said, we live a pretty humble life. You know, I don't make a lot of money as a police officer and you know, there's some things that, you know, take precedence over fishing. So we don't have $120,000 to go buy a brand new boat with all the bells and whistles. We, I mean, even used boats that are 10, 15 years old, um, that are 20 footers, you're looking here in Florida, you're looking anywhere from, anywhere from 15 to $35,000 and Unfortunately, a lot of that stuff is outdated. So I came up with a plan to make this stream a little bit more obtainable. I mean, have you guys ever just came across something and was like, yep, that's it. Like if you're a musician and you see that guitar, and you know, that's the guitar that is going to get me where I wanna go. Well, I found the boat, guys. It is exactly who I am. I know that's weird to say, but you know what? Let me just show you guys and maybe you can see the vision with me. So this is a 1994 Champion 204 DCX Elite. Now I know what some of you guys are thinking, this thing's a junker. And uh, I, hear, I, I hear what you're saying, I do. You know, especially when you see all the nice stuff that people, other people have, but let me just break down some stuff for you guys, all right? Let's say you get that new 20 foot Skeeter, base, nothing, just motor and boat. You're looking at $80,000, right? You start adding poles, graphs, you know, trolling motor. You're looking at, you know, that pumping up to, you know, another 15, 20 grand, if not more, you know, depending on how many graphs you put on it. Like, so to be competitive, I mean, in a brand new boat, you're looking at $100,000. Like I said, I don't have a lot of money. I got this hole next to nothing from a friend of mine. And uh, I don't have sponsors. I don't have any of that completely self-funded, right? This is a 20 foot boat, large front deck. And yes, this is a project boat. It's gonna take a lot of work to get it to where it needs to be at. But the plan is, is to make this a competitive bass boat that I can fish the pros with, you know, in the year 2024, this is gonna be my rookie year. And I'm gonna bring you guys along with me for all you guys that are aspiring to do the same, that don't come from money, that don't, you know, mommy and daddy didn't buy you a boat, which there's nothing wrong with that if, if, if that's how you got your boat and you're following the stream. There's nothing wrong with that. But I don't relate to that. You know, like I said, like, I don't come from money. Everything me and Caroline have, like, we worked our asses off for. And excuse me for cursing, but that's, that's just the truth, like, it, 
working our butts off just doesn't really quite explain it. We worked our asses off for it. And I saw this boat and it's rough around the edges just like I am. It's, you know, it's life has beat it up a little bit. But that doesn't mean that it's not redeemable just like just like I am. You know, like I know it's going to be a journey. I know it's going to be some money. But like I said, this boat is going to be the boat I start my professional career when we're going to have it wrapped like we're going to do everything right. That's the nice thing about it being a project boat already stripped down. Basically, is we get to build this the way we want it, not the way it comes, you know, the way we want it. We're going to wrap the boat, put a motor on it, update the electronics in it. I mean, granted, is it for everybody? No, but this is the right move for me. Cause like I said, I don't have the money to go spend a hundred thousand dollars on a boat. I don't have the money for a boat payment of, you know, five, $600. That's almost the same as my mortgage. You know, I just don't have that kind of money. And a lot of people out there that want this dream don't either. So I implore you, if you have a similar dream to me, put it down in the comments you know like i think a lot of people have it in their head that this is elite sport and it's unobtainable but i don't think that's true i think to do it at the level or to do it the way the pros do it that often get free boats or heavily discounts on boats because they're sponsored by those boat companies or you know i think it's easier for them possibly but they had to get there somehow and you know and not all of them came for money and I am going to get there. You will see this champion competing in some of those high-end tournaments. Like I said, we're still gonna do tournaments in Swamp Bass for now, but we're gonna be building this boat from the ground up to be a competitive machine for professional fishing. And you can bet that once it is finished, you're not gonna be able to recognize it. It is gonna be completely updated. It is gonna be fresh wrap with all the supporters we've had thus far or by the time that's completed we're going to be completing this in the year 2024 and i think for all you doubters that are watching this right now like saying you're crazy you should just go buy a new boat check back with me at the end of the year see if you still feel the same because i can tell you guys you don't need the newest equipment the newest boats you don't need all that it's nice to have those things but there's an old saying, when you're poor, you can't afford nice stuff. You gotta get used stuff and make it nice. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this champion nice. We're gonna make it fish the way we want it to fish. And this is my first step in my road to the pros. I hope you guys come along on the journey with me because I think in today's age, dreams are abandoned way too quickly. Uh, whether it's because, you know, society's pressure to, you know, do the standard nine to five and all that kind of stuff. I think the world has a way of just making everything seem unattainable, but I can tell you it's not. It's only going to come down to how much willpower, how much discipline and how much you're willing to sacrifice. It is my journey to becoming a champion bass fisherman. You know, we're gonna bring this champion back to its glory days. And I hope you guys can share the vision. In honor, in fact, of, you know, this step, this declaration, the code word for today for our Abu Garcia spinning reel is gonna be champion. Because that's what we're aspiring to be. We're aspiring to be champions. And a lot of y'all probably don't think I'm gonna make it. And honestly, you're entitled to your opinion. But I can tell you through all I've been through in life, quitter has never been one of the things. I've always accomplished everything I sought out to do. When I was a musician, I sought out to be a professional touring musician. Guess what? In three years after I made that declaration, I was on tour with He Is Legend and Must Be The Holy Ghost with my band Don't Be The Birds. Like I said, every dream is accomplishable in life, guys. You just have to find the way that works best for you to accomplish it. And for me, this boat is it. This is going to be the boat I make my debut professional fishing career in. And, you know, maybe we'll be able to find some sponsors along the way that support the vision, that support what we're trying to do here. Because like I said, I don't think it's unobtainable guys. Even if I have to 
fund it myself, I am going to get there. But let me uh, show you some of the stuff that we got going on in this boat because I haven't really gone through all the drawers and stuff yet. So obviously we got a massive front deck. Let's see what we got in here. We got front storage. That's definitely gonna need to be cleaned out. Some a couple of lures. Who knows, maybe we'll do a video on fishing the old lures that came out of this boat. Got a first aid kit. Definitely need one of those. Let's see what we got going on in here. All right, so looks like we got a weighing bag already ahead of the curve. Someone had aspirations of being a tournament bass fisherman. Oh, look at that. Definitely could find some use for these. Head over to there. Nice little tackle area cracks. Let's see what we got here. Some car parts. Okay. All right. Well, anyone fixing up a car? We might have some parts for you. Moving to the back of the boat. Um, obviously, these seats are going to have to be cleaned up. Pretty nice, though. Don't really see any tears or anything like that. But yeah, they're definitely going to have to be cleaned up. Uh, I'm not really worried about the gauges or anything like that because uh, we're going to have to. Uh, we're gonna have to switch all these out once we get a new motor and stuff. So, switches still feel okay though. Might be able to use those original switches. Maybe, maybe not. We'll have to see. We got a little center console here. Storage under it. A little cooler. Use that. Leave, we got, yep, storage under each one of these. little uh, glove box all right moving to the back Let's see what we got going on in here yep we've got some live wells down there looks like someone was using it as a cooler same over here nice actually looks like they got some lights down there will be little cooler okay another cooler all right so we'll have to do some work back here looks like pretty much all these batteries are shot big 35 gallon tank gas tank water separator we're probably gonna go with lithium, so we'll have to switch that out. One thing that's cool though, guys, is they do already have a kill switch over there. Wiring panel. Um, it looks like this is actually rigged for a two stroke. And then of course, one of the things that kinda we got a Sea Star hydraulic steering system on here. Definitely Mercury controls here. Like I said, it's going to take some work, but when we're done with it. It is going to be an absolute beast. All right, guys. So this is the boat, like I said, that I am going to be starting my road to the pros with, and it will be the boat that I debut in my first professional angling event. It's gonna be a long road. Like I said, we're gonna spend 2024 building her out and bringing her back to her former glory. And uh, I'm so excited, guys. I saw this boat months ago and it's just been on my mind because it's just like, I saw it and it just, I instantly knew that that was the boat that I was going to begin my career in. And we were able to get it next to nothing, which gives us so much in the budget to really build her out and build her out the right way. I understand that this is not the right move for everybody. For some people, you know, just buying a boat and dealing with all the problems that comes with buying a used boat or, you know, if you have the money to buy a brand new boat, that's great. I commend you. Like I said, I am not in that category at all. 
So we got a lot of other content coming out this year that we're excited to bring to you guys and as some exciting news. So if you like this kind of content, if you wanna follow me along my journey to becoming a pro angler, or you want to come along for the journey of watching this old boat be fully restored and brought back to its glory you know make sure you like comment and subscribe also for our abu garcia spinning reel giveaway that's going on right now the, the revo x uh, make sure you comment the word champion and make sure you you're subscribed to the channel we will be verifying that you are a subscriber once the giveaway comes out march 15th we'll be giving it away so definitely make sure you're subscribed. We wanna make sure that our giveaways are going to supporters of the channel. Uh, and as always guys, now go catch your fish.